In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with similar polygons. In example A, it says, suppose triangle ABC is similar to triangle JKL. Based on the similarity statement, which angles are congruent and which sides are proportional? So remember, if two shapes are similar, that means all their corresponding angles are congruent. So from the similarity statement, we can tell that angle A matches with angle J, B with K, and C with L. So what that means is that angle A must be congruent to angle J, angle B is congruent to angle K, and angle C is congruent to angle L. We also know if two shapes are similar, that their corresponding sides are all in the same ratio. In other words, they're all proportional. So if we pick any pairs of corresponding sides, they will be proportional. So side AB will match with side JK, and that ratio will have to be the same as side BC, which matches with side KL, which will have to be the si same as side CA, which matches with side LJ. So the ratio between all of these pairs of sides, which are all corresponding sides, is consistent throughout the triangles. Let's look at example B. We have MNPQ is similar to RSTU. What are the values of X, Y, and Z? So because these two quadrilaterals are similar, it means all their corresponding angles must be congruent. So we are given angle R is 115 degrees. From the similarity statement, you can tell that R matches with M. And since M is angle Z, we know that angle Z has to equal 115 degrees. Next, we want to figure out X. And X is side NP. And NP is corresponding to ST. So that means X matches with ST, which is 25. So X over 25 equals, and now we have to figure out a ratio we know both sides of. So let's see what else matches. We know that SR, which is 30, must match with something on the shape on the left. So SR right here is going to match with MN. So MN is 18. So the ratio that we know is actually 18 over 30. Notice that I matched the X with the 18 because they were both from the same shape. Now I can solve this proportional equation by cross multiplying. So that means multiply 30 by x and 18 by 25. So you get 30x equals 450. And then you divide both sides by 30, and you get x equals 15. Last, in order to solve for y, we can again use the ratio we know exists, which is 18 over 30, and then figure out uh, what side Y corresponds to. So Y is TU, and TU matches with PQ, and PQ is 15. So in order to finish our equation, we'll say 18 over 30 equals 15 over Y. Notice that I wanted to match the Y with the 30 because they came from the same shape. Solve this by cross-multiplying again. And you get 18y equals 450, and therefore y equals 25. Okay, now let's look at one more example. ABCD is similar to AMNP. Find the scale factor and the length of BC. So first, I think we have to assume that these are both rectangles, even though there are no right angles marked. And what that means is that opposite sides are congruent. So MA of 30 means that NP is also 30. NP is a side that corresponds with CD, which is 
45. So that means the ratio between the two shapes is 30 over 45, or 45 over 30. And that will help us to get the scale factor. So the scale factor will be 45 over 30, which reduces to 1.5. Now, if we know the scale factor is 1.5, that means each side in the larger rectangle is 1.5 times as big as its corresponding side in the smaller rectangle. So since AP is 40, that means that MN is also 40. And if we're looking to find BC, 40 is the side, or sorry, MN is the side which corresponds with BC. So all we need to do is take 40 times the scale factor of 1.5, and we'll figure out what BC is. Since 40 times 1.5 is 60, that means that BC equals 60.